面对到访的沙特阿拉伯王储、法国总统马克宏亲切握手。美国总统拜登则是选择跟王储碰拳不握手，从领袖之间的肢体互动就能感受到沙特阿拉伯在国际外交上的复杂处境。沙国王储与西方国家的互动都因为华油记者哈少吉遇害事件，引发美法两国的批评声浪。The kind of responsibility uh, that that they believe MBS should take over the killing of the journalist, and that it so went against our values as a country and what we what we stand for,、uh, that if we are giving him a break on that, anything goes. 对美国来说，修补与沙特阿拉伯之间的关系其实刻不容缓，不只是因为俄乌战火看不到尽头，希望产油国能协助解决能源困境，曾经。在国务院处理全球穆斯林事务，还担任过穆斯林特别代表的潘迪斯，就点出了沙特阿拉伯对全球穆斯林社群的高度影响。What I uncovered was whether I was in Zanzibar or I was in Surabaya, whether I was in Malaysia, whether I was in Norway, didn't matter where in the world I was, that I saw evidence of Saudi Arabia funding and curtailing the way people think about their heritage,、uh, their diversity. Of being Muslims, how it feels to be Muslim, and that was important. Pandis 强调，沙特阿拉伯透过宗教信仰传播出来的力量，其实已经根深蒂固，远比外界想象中还要来得强大。不少极端组织所使用的教科书其实都源自于沙特阿拉伯。美国积极打击伊斯兰教极端主义，更需要沙特阿拉伯的协助。For American taxpayer dollars, for our troops, for the way in which we are, you know, thinking about stability in certain parts of the world. And so, what I argue is, if we're serious about fighting the ideology of hate and extremism, particularly. Uh, the kind of extremism that comes from groups that manipulate Islam for their nefarious ends, then we've got to get serious about Saudi Arabia. 尤其在九一一恐怖攻击之后，美国不只是靠强大的武力值来打击伊斯兰极端主义。从小布希时代开始，美国国务院就积极与穆斯林社群接触，从内部攻心发展应对极端势力的秘密武器。How what what is appealing to these young people that they find this idea? Ideology of interest. How can we think differently about this? How can we build better connections with communities that that we know Al Qaeda is going after? And so those kinds of conversations were happening not just in the United States, but obviously in other parts of the world too. We want to fortify. We want to put. We want to inoculate communities so that AQ could not come in and lure young people in. 九一一攻击不止影响美国对穆斯林社群的态度，远在太平洋另一端的中国大陆也。开始出现变化。I also had some really interesting conversations uh, with uh, non-Muslim Chinese around the feeling of Islam in China and what had changed after 9/11. They perceived the Islam component as threatening now, at a time when they never had before because of incidents that were happening around the world. The way they were, they were hearing about what. Real Islam was supposed to be、uh, a violence, and there was fear that was injected into the conversation. 恐惧造成的不信任，使得维吾尔族的穆斯林成为戴罪羔羊。潘迪斯强调，新疆问题其实并不是这几年才发生，而是长期性的问题。但许多国家视而不见，甚至协助北京当局监控这些穆斯林，直到这几年因为政治利益还有媒体操作，放大了维吾尔民众的困境。一旦政治情势风向转变，维吾尔穆斯林的人权恐怕在。度沦为牺牲品。特别新闻综合报道，想扩大国际视野，掌握趋势，请订阅专门报道国际新闻的 YouTube 频道 TBS 国际 Plus， 记得要开启小铃铛哦。